Welcome back, people. More Batman. Let's do this. Where are we going? What's happening? No, oh, it looks like we're going to the Batcave. Very nice. Batcave always looks the same in every single one. Episode one. So we've only just started. Yeah, boy. I still got the theatre stuff as well. Okay, I haven't actually walked around yet. Okay, so access the codex. Okay, there's not a point of that then. What's this? Ah, oh, data drive. That's what we want. Nearly fell off a building for this. Uh, what about computer? A Gotham feed. That's much point. Uh, right, where would I put the disc in? Oh, there we go. Data port. Yeah, let's just have a look. What's this then? That should be Avenue. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. <laughs> I always find you here in a dark, damp cave in front of a computer. He's working, bruh. People with regular jobs can do their work anywhere, but for me, this is my office. I agree. It isn't normal work. Even worse, the best outcome is that no one ever finds out you've done it. Yeah, well, good deeds usually go unnoticed. Uh, though not unappreciated. Did you find out what that um, cat woman tried to steal? Uh, in the process. She wants the D, bruh. Let me try it. Uh Ah, there we go. Uh This is a map. There we go. It could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs. Everything flows through that port. Yes, it does. Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime, I saved you what I could. Thanks, Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Yeah, that guy was a dick, man. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. 
I don't want anything to do with Falcone. Well, he certainly showed interest in you. That's what worries me. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this Catwoman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. I'll check the codex. Uh, right, let's have a look then. Let's have a look at the old codex. Uh, where's Catwoman? There you are. Okay. Not much to find, apparently. No, there isn't. There isn't at all. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. All right, Alfred. Outside without it ending up in the news lately, as Bruce or Batman. Batman doesn't hide. Well, technically he does. Batman isn't hiding from anybody. I was talking about Bruce. Now, I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's going to figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. Yes, that's true, Alfred. Should have cancelled the event. Well, I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I, I know you're only looking out for me. He is my ears. Trade places some night, though I'm not partial to heights. Uh, old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. Yoink. I saw Oz. It's been what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Hmm. Simple discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but. His behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Well, that's not good. Uh, yeah, let's give him a chance. Like, come on. Record or not, he's still an old friend. A lot can change over the years. If I remember correctly, Oswald was fond of the old firecrackers in the toilet trick. I worry what he's. Was he now? Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close. I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Yeah, achievement. One they get away. Quite the dive. Graffiti. Oh my. What's this? Uh, right, what else can I look at? He's looking swell as fuck, bruh. Well, I can give him some change. It's the least you could do, bruh. <laughs> Why are you want my hands up? What else have we got? 
Meet you by the statue. Okay then. No others. Uh, I better get attacked by Falcone's lot. Who's this chap? Hey. Beat it. <laughs> okay then. I will beat it. Ah, here he is. Oh, this goes through you. Oh, you heard it, man. You're making a mistake. You already made one coming here. Next one kills you. And come on, then. Gentlemen! Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp! You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're in the moment! Come here! <laughs> oh, I didn't even press the button. Haha, <laughs> what a dick. Stupid mohawk. This is my park! Mine! You hear that? <laughs> oh, hey Bruce. You've got a little, uh... Blood. Good as new. Woo! That was a right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline. Thanks for the help, mate. Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, no, that wasn't why I brought you in, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. this Interesting. Used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids. For Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. It's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Oh, here we go. Used to run in the same circles we did. I'm... I'm sorry, Oz. No one should have to go through that. Thanks, Bruce. But we are not the only ones suffering. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home. That Wasn't invited, bro. Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. I never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than our plans. Things are going to be on the upswing soon, though. Oh, I know. Revolution is knocking on Gotham's door, and I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. Revolution starts. We 
going to smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not going to be pretty. Oh dear. I'm not your enemy, Oz. That remains to be seen, don't it? What dick? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Hmm. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. This isn't going to be good, I'll tell you that. Oh, press conference. Okay then, right, off we go. Off we go to a press conference. Way manner can't be, can it? It looks too different. Ah, the hospital. <laughs> Tells me the most obnoxious car you can get. Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. This way. It's doing the show. Good morning. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> oh, we didn't bring you all out. That dig. Car, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. Good, good. Get rid of Arkham. Being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. And Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? Yes, I do. Don't eat yellow snow. I'm here today because I want to heal Gotham. To stop the culture of crime that's running our streets. You know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost. To it's good they are not bothering retreading that. Who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide? Hehe. <laughs> With this facility and our next mayor, we create a new face for Gotham. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. <laughs> Sure, you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable, put our citizens in jeopardy. Yes, it has. We can do better. All right, who's up next? Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You even shook his hand. Wait. 
I don't make friends with gangsters. <laughs> Burned. That's all. Next question, please. Please keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? Uh-oh. But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. Uh-oh. The trail ties your family directly to the mob. That's not good. Not good at all. Care to comment? And did anyone else receive this evidence? The Globe, the Gazette, we all did. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know no. Miss Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What are you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises paychecks? My parents were entrepreneurs, philanthropists, not common criminals. It's absurd. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage controls. This is not good. Everyone, everyone, please settle down. I'll be. Oh, she's spinning out right now. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Oh shit. Well, that's it for that episode. Thanks for watching. We'll join you with another one very soon. And goodbye. Drop a like and a subscribe.